I'm buying another loom. Okay, so this loom came out of a basement. I'm gonna give it a thorough cleaning. That's the table loom part. It does have treadles. I've got some shuttles and leaf sticks and whatnot to go with it. And this is the table with the tie up area on it. I think I'm probably gonna need some parts. I don't know where, anyways, I will figure this out. I'm probably gonna rip this off sadly but i think it's been on here for probably 40 years this one's an oldie hoping for the best these are just treadles it's just been in a basement for a long time i'm gonna find out soon because I'm going to take this paper off and that's going to have a year on it and that is going to tell me how long this loom has been sitting with a warp on it. Okay, I'm going to cut off this warp and I'm going to see how old this warp is. So, let's see here. Not much of it was woven. What year is this paper from? My goodness. Lord. Okay, the globe and the mail. Looks like the date part might be cut off. April 19th, 1982. I don't know if you can see that or not. 1982. So that's 40 years ago. Okay, so I have this little loom all assembled. Nice little eight shaft. It's assembled aside from it's missing a couple cords. Well, a few. It's missing all these cords they attach to here. Because they will be held up. And those cords run through the bottom of the loom. And here you see these holes. So each of these holes will have a cord that will run up the castle here. And they come up here. And then they'll run across and then they they catch on to down here so that's how they they lift the shafts um i ordered some of these i'm just waiting for the rest of the parts to come and then we will we'll be up and running see but you can i mean you can still use it like this you know lift the shafts this way Anyway, so I guess technically it is functional, but I want to use it with foot, the treadles. Okay, so I'm going to try and get these parts put on the loom. Oh, darn it. I don't think it's going to all work. Okay, these look too small. I asked for, I mentioned it was an eight shaft, and this is enough for a four shaft. So these aren't going to work. The wood is, I'm sure, fine, but... Um, Everything I was hoping for. Okay, so let's just see here. I got, hopefully these are gonna be the same size. They seem to be. I'm gonna hope this is gonna work. And in there. Okay, it seems about the same. I had ordered these metal rods because these wooden ones just didn't seem all that sturdy, but we're gonna hope for the best. And in the meantime, that one is, oh well. I can always, if I need to, I can just go to Home Depot and get one of these cut to be the right size. Just thought I was ordering from Leclerc, I would just order. Okay, so all I have left for parts are these S hooks. And they, I don't know if you can see this, I may need to move the camera but they're going to attach down here to this which i thought was going to be a little different let me see if i can show you what i was expecting so i was expecting something more like this which you know when i looked through my stash maybe i didn't need to order because maybe i have 
Although this is clearly marked for something and I don't know what. But you see it has these little openings. That's what I was expecting. But you know what? I'm just going to try and use what I have. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I have enough here, but I'm going to try. The first thing I'm going to do is try and measure how long these pieces need to be. I guess I'm just going to drop that on the floor. I think this is the right stuff. So I'm going to go up the hole. Bring it behind this shaft. here, right here, across here, down here, and I'm doing this right, put this through here, and that through that little hook there okay so that does look it will lift that shaft okay now I need to find the perfect length because it will connect to here so let's see if we can manage this it's perfect when it has the little holes because it uh, you don't have to Try and figure that out. Okay, it seems appropriate. And that gets pushed, and that gets lifted. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll take this one off and I'm going to cut a bunch, eight, at least four. Four will get me started, but I think I'll cut at least eight if I can and get started. There will be cords that attach the shafts to here. And when you use the shaft, boom. And it's going to need some lubricating clearly. It's not coming down very quickly. But we'll get there. Okay, so I got all these hooks on. Yay, it seems great. And then Oh, obviously this is not the correct solution because I'll show you what happens. So let's just say we push this. Well, that one stayed on, but let me show you another one. Nah, now they're going to work. Okay. Oh, well, now they're working. That's funny. See, but I, I'm not going to count on this because I don't think this is supposed to be here. And first time I did it, they all just flew off. So now they're all staying on. Hmm. But I think I found a different way to do this. I'm going to try it out. Okay, I'm going to see if my phone will focus in on this. So what I did is I took the hook off. I'm going to pass this through this little hole. So these little frayed ends are proving hard to work with. So what I decided to do was make little pieces of tape and just tape the ends together. Okay, these little ends should be easier to deal with now. As best I can. All right. And then I'm gonna pass the other end of this cord through this hole. There, you see? I just looped it through, and I bet you this is gonna work just fine. And it's gonna be a little painful redoing all these, but, you know, whatever. It'll just take a few minutes, just a little extra time. But I think this is the way to go. I think I'll do this one and test it first. And there we have it through the hole, and then I'm gonna hook it up just like these ones. Okay, guys, it's finished. 
I mean, I say that with some sort of hesitation because this needs to be replaced, obviously. But it's functional now. The treadles work. You see? Um, that's not level. It's definitely going to need a little bit of tweaking, but it's now functional and it's all together. I definitely need some more tie-ups, but actually I think I'm going to use this one for my weaving uh, course that I'm going to be starting uh, on this YouTube channel for you guys who aren't yet weavers to learn. And if you see this mess over here, that's another loom I'm refurbing. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this one, you'll probably like this one or maybe this one. I'll meet you there. Bye for now.